Hi, Linda Baldock here from Lindy Stamp Gang. I'm just going to show you today one of my favourite techniques using chipboard circle and Lindy Stamp Gang Starburst Stain Colour Shot. Nice and simple technique. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start just with a watercolour pencil. I'm using the Ink Tent by Derwent. These are beautiful. The colours are so rich. I'm just going around the edges. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just to highlight a bit. Now if you can hear a funny noise in the background, that's just my dog scratching and biting at her leg. She has a flea that she just can't get. Right, so I've just done some little marks. Nothing fancy. Now you're taking a craft knife and you're just going to do some rough lines all the way around. Like you're cutting a cake or a pizza. You don't have to go too deep into this and the more cuts that you put into it the better the effect so you can go from something that's quite simple like this particular one to something which is a lot more well pleated looking I, I guess you could say okay so this has got lots of cuts into this and it's two different size circles that I've used these circles I've got here are just um, regular chipboard they haven't got a circle in the centre, but the circle in the centre is really helpful because you can put a brad through it like I've done with that particular one, or even wiring. So, okay, so I've just done some lines like that. Now I'm going to take one of my colour shots. I have got Poinsettia Red Gold, my ultra favourite red. And I'm just giving that a shake from side to side. So just like that, slide on the table, side to side. You can see it's mixed all the mica to the top. And I'm just putting that straight in there like that. So you might have to dunk it a couple of times if your pots are half empty like mine. Okay. So I'll just show you. So where the cuts are, the mica has really sat into the cut. Okay. So I'm just putting that down there. Put the lid on. It makes so much mess. Now I'm just going to fold it in half and then in half again. Alright. And again. And again. And you can see it's really softened up the chipboard nicely. So now you can give it a bit of a squeeze. Okay. And then when you open it up Beautiful. Now if you're not happy with that colour, you can double dip them. And this is just using the Delphinium tip with blue. My favourite blue. And I'm just touching the surface of it with the blue. Ready? Ooh, check that out. Isn't that gorgeous? Alright. So you can leave it like that and allow it to dry and the chipboard will continue to split. Or you can force dry it of course. Um, you can manipulate it by bending it and such. Another fun thing I like to do is to play with my Versatool. So just with the transfer tip on it. Very hot. Right, make sure you're working on a um, fire resistant and scorch resistant surface. Okay, and I'm just pressing into it. And you can see the liquid is all running into the center. And you can just go around, do a little bit of a pattern. I'm not pressing hard, I'm just pushing lightly. If you look at the pieces I've already done, they're really quite vibrant. And that is because I paint them with Dimensional Magic. Uh, diamond Glazer work and so will Glossy Accents. So and the more coats that you give it, the more vibrant it is. Alright, so if you keep going around with your tool, make your own patterns. Just have fun. Alright. And bend it up again. It's very flexible now. 
right? Even splitting some of the layers. So there you go. Okay, go have fun.